All right, YouTube counter punch boxing. I, am I? Am I counter? I don't know. There's there, there so many people out there with with my name. You know, look, they they stole my they stole the good name of counter punch boxing. Look, that's my name, people. They stole it. Is it is it a compliment? Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. I don't know. I don't know, and I don't care, right? Because look, I'm not one of those channels that I, look. My life isn't YouTube. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love YouTube. I love boxing. But you know, some of these guys, man. Wow. We'll talk about it later. But anyway, look, boxing, why are we here today? The heavyweight division, okay? The heavyweight division is an absolute train wreck, okay? And it's like, look, it's the heavyweight division is like a dysfunctional family. You never know what the hell is going to happen at the dinner table, right? Somebody might throw like a chicken leg. Somebody might get pissed off, throw a chicken leg at you. You know, somebody might kick you under the table, right? Your sister might pop up and say she got pregnant. You know, it's like this dysfunctional family. You don't know what the hell is going to happen in this division. Vision. You don't know. You just simply don't. You cannot predict it, right? Anthony Joshua said he would never come to America. That the UK was the new hub of the heavyweight division. If you wanted to see Anthony Joshua, if you wanted to fight Anthony Joshua, you had to cross creek and come on to what is it, Wembley Stadium, right? Go to Wembley's wherever the hell, and if you wanted to fight him. But guess what? Now he's here. Now he's here. It's like okay, I want to do like a, like a, like a video of him talking about how you know he'll never come to America, and now he's in America. You had guys like Lennox Lewis on you know on Twitter, you know, talking about boxing is a global sport, and uh, you know he needs to to travel abroad. Okay, and now we have that happening. But bo look, boxing history always repeats itself. Okay. What happened? Eddie Hearn, the promoter, got greedy. Either that or they're going broke, they need money, something. You know, he couldn't pass up that money, that Amer the, the, the almighty American dollar. He could not pass it up. And if you listen to the reasons for coming to America, shout out Eddie Murphy, good movie. Okay, it's the exact same reasons the fans gave basically two years ago. The fans said Anthony Joshua needs to come here because, you know, we, the best needs to fight the best. Okay, the money. The money is here, right? You know, to build. Uh, you know, the, the Anthony Joshua global profile, uh, the historic value of fighting at, at these great historic uh, American venues. I mean, there's a ton of reasons, okay? Basically, everything and anything you probably said two years ago, for those exact reasons, they're here today, okay? So it makes no sense to me. And, and, and by the way, I don't, know, I don't know if I talked about the Deontay Wilder knockout. I, I didn't want to talk about it because I knew it was pure clickbait. Uh, probably every boxing channel from here to, I don't know, maybe over uh, around the world or what the hell ever had the knockout and clickbait, clickbait. So, but anyway, it was a hell of a knockout, and uh, but I didn't talk about it. So, but maybe we'll get into it later. We'll get into that later. But anyway, back to the Anthony Joshua. Look, I'm ha look, I'm happy he's here. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy he's here. But enough is enough. These guys have been champions. Uh, where I'm talking about Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua since 2015. 2015. Okay, approaching five years without a unification fight. Five years without a unification fight. That's half a decade. Okay. You basically have three guys claiming they are the king, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, and Deontay Wilder, okay? <laughs> they, they all claim they're at the top, they're the king, but none of them are, they're, they're not fighting each other, okay? Except, except I'll give Deontay Wilder and, um, you know, Tyson Fury credit, okay? Big Baby Miller, okay, got busted for PEDs. Uh, Dominic, Dominic Brazil, who, who knows, got knocked out, and who knows what the hell is going to happen with him. Dillian White, I don't know, whatever. Where, where's he? Who knows? Anthony Joshua, John, what the hell are these guys doing? And just a quick side note, okay, let's talk about the, let's talk about the middleweight division. You have the two most marketable, well-known middleweights in the world, Canelo Alvarez, Gennady Golovkin, fighting each other twice, okay, two times, Okay, and the trilogy looming in the background, but yet we can't get two heavyweight champions in the damn ring to unify belts. I don't understand it. What I, I just I just don't understand what the problem is. Like, look, like I've said before, Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder have been champions. I think since 2015. Fact check me on that. You know, it, it's it's too long. This fight should have happened. You know, I just I I don't understand it. So um, I don't know, and I don't want to hear anyone complaining uh, about how it seems like everyone Everyone's more, or, or everyone's more interested in who's ducking who, right? Is it Deontay Wilder avoiding Anthony Joshua, or Anthony Joshua avoiding Deontay Wilder? You know, and why didn't we get the Tyson Fury rematch? You know, why are we getting 
the matchups that we're getting, it just doesn't make any damn sense to me. And don't get me wrong, okay, you can look at any great boxer from the past and their resume is littered with, you know, mismatches or keep busy fights or mandatories, you know, whatever it may be. But this heavyweight division situation is a different situation, okay? Look at the days of Muhammad Ali. Look at the, or Muhammad Ali. Look at the days of Mike Tyson, okay? I can even make an entire video explaining the difference between the heavyweight di division today and the heavyweight division back then. We can even go back to Jack Johnson, okay? The first african-american heavyweight fighter you know in the world right the best fought the best right They're, these guys are divas they're businessmen not fighters now tyson fury who's he facing tom uh zwartz or what the hell ever uh and, and i guess one of them claimed on twitter either fury or, or deontay wilder that the the rematch is going to happen but it's probably going to be next year because tyson fury has a fight in september so <clears throat> i don't i don't know if it's official or whatever but these guys are basically tied up with business situations different promoters you know ones with the zone ones with fox ones here ones there it's ridiculous so it's just you know it's it's hard to be a fan of the heavyweight division because all the bullshit it really is okay now, moving on, okay, and how could I forget? Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, rematch. Why in the hell are we getting a Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz rematch? That, 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 I, I mean, what? I, I, I don't understand. It's like getting like an Adrian Broner and Manny Pacquiao rematch. I don't understand. I mean, pick your fighter. Pick It, it doesn't make any damn Is it a keep busy fight? Like, what is the point in this? I mean, what, look, and don't, and again, I, I, I like, uh, I like Luis Ortiz, I do, and maybe he has a shot, you know, maybe he could pull off the upset, but I doubt it, I highly doubt it, so, you know, I don't know, like I said, it's just a huge dysfunctional family, you don't know who's lying, you don't know who's telling the truth, you don't know what's going on, Anthony Joshua claims, you know, he's only going to fight in the U U or UK, but yet I got a notification on my phone that there's a fight on DAZN tonight, right, so, it's like, it's crazy to me, so, now, uh, Anthony Joshua versus Luis uh, Ruiz, right? Uh, now Ruiz claims claims, right? He wants to he wants to get on the inside with Anthony Joshua. I'm going to talk about this for a minute, and we'll get we'll get back to the division. Okay, he said, look. Anthony Joshua had problems with Takam, you know, and he's going to try to basically imitate what Takam did, you know, copy that style, you know, uh, fighting on the inside and disrupting the flow of Anthony Joshua. And I think it's a smart game plan. OK, and I'll make another video later, you know, with my prediction. But I can basically tell you, you know, I think it's going to be there's going to be a little bit of excitement in the fight, but I think it's going to go about halfway and he's going to get knocked out. He's going to get stopped or whatever. You know, I'm talking about Andy Ruiz. I believe he's going to get stopped about mid way about midway because and maybe to the body you know i don't i don't you know the body you know he uh, he's 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 a big dude but of course the body is real flabby and we know anthony josh i mean just look at this dude right here i mean he's built like a tank like how can you penetrate you know that layer of muscle with with a big ass glove you know what i mean so and he's probably going to fight tall use a jab you know and, and it's and, and or um Ruiz is going to have a hard time getting to him. He really, and, and you're going to see that. He's going to jump in, you know, maybe get clipped with a left hook, uppercut, something like that. But like I said, I'll give the prediction later. But my point is, I, can someone please explain to me who is ducking who? Is it Anthony Joshua ducking Deontay Wilder? Is it Wilder ducking? I don't know. You know, you probably come to a channel so I can tell you, but I, I simply don't know. Back then, I thought it was Anthony Joshua. Now I kind of think it's Deontay Wilder. You know, I kind of think he's bullshit. I think he's a little bit. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you, I think he's trying to kind of bullshit and everybody, you know, maybe it is Deontay Wilder. Like, I don't know, because look, you can, you can have an argument, a good argument for either guy, right? You know, you can say this and it, it just, it, it's like a stalemate. So I say, cut the shit, cut the nonsense and make the fight happen. Right now, what would I like to see? It, w it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad thing if Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder got the rematch and then we went into a fight, you know, say the winner of that fight takes on an Anthony Joshua, you know, given he, he gets past uh, Ruiz, which I'm almost positive he will. There's no way he's going to lose. I mean, I'm sorry. And by the way, Andy Ruiz, a, a hell of a guy, man. He, he, he seemed like a really down to earth, nice guy. Uh, you know, he was like picked on as a kid and all that, you know, just a, like he was like a big old teddy bear. So I like him. You know, 
he seemed like a really cool dude, you know, so I'm rooting for him tonight, but I don't think it's going to happen. You know, he said his dream was to become the first heavyweight Mexican champion of the world. And, you know, look, maybe he pulls it off, you know, I mean, wouldn't that be something? But, uh, but again, why are we getting, why are we getting this fight? You know, what fight was it? Um, yeah, the, after Deontay Wilder and the Dominic Brazil fight, right? You know, what is Showtime, uh, what's his name, Jim or Gray, Jim Gray, he interviewed him and said, you know, look, this is not the fight the fans want to see. And, and the look on Deontay Wilder's face was like, what, what did, he, did he really just say that? You know, because, he, look, everyone's tired of it, you know, and the crowd was cheering or booing, you know, to support what, what Jim was, uh, you know, saying to Deontay Wilder. Is we don't want to see Deontay Wilder, Dominic Brazil. We don't want to see Anthony Joshua and your no respect or disrespect to uh, Ruiz. But we we don't want to see this crap. We've had enough keep busy fights. We've had enough of it. We want to see unification fights. We want to see rematches. We want to see the best fight, the best. You know, and say, like I said, say what you will about Oscar De La Hoya or any division, the welterweight division, the middleweight division, but at least they're putting together good fights. I mean, look, you know, they say the heavyweight division is kind of the king of boxing. Like, you know, what happens in the heavyweight division happens and, you know, it controls boxing, right? And it's making, to, in my mind, in my opinion, it's making boxing look bad, okay? Because you have, like, the three tough kids on the block, like, running scared. Like, it's crazy to me. Like, what the hell is going on? And I'm asking you for answers because I don't have them anymore. I don't, all I know is, look, I'll watch the fight tonight because I already paid my $10, right? And, and, and you know, I want to get, you know, something for my money. So I'll watch it tonight, probably for the undercard and the pre limb but uh you know i already know what's going to happen and i'll make a reaction video after the video you know or the fight tonight and uh, and i'll tell you i'll tell you you know and and here, look here's my wild card this is the best case scenario for andy ruiz is it goes 12 rounds and he'll lose by decision okay that's my wild card you know maybe he can do what Takam did and uh you know make him look bad disrupt him get on the inside you know take away you know, his assets and, you know, have a little bit of a success in there. But that's that's best case scenario. And there's no way in hell that the judges are going to give it to him. They're, they're going to give it to Anthony Joshua, you know, even if it's a robbery. So, you know, it is what it is. It is. What's, look, I'm going to I'm going to stop babbling. What do you guys think? Please tell me who is ducking who? Are you excited for the fight tonight? Uh, maybe you are. I mean, I don't know. I, I Look, I don't want to say anything bad about this guy, but we shouldn't be getting this fight. So I don't know. What do you think? Leave it below.